Hello gamers, this is Noobzilla. Time to go over the Hunter set in the new season, which is Warlord Season 1, here in World of Warcraft. The new season for PvP and raiding started today, so I know a lot of people are interested in finding out what exactly they can get. The new gear is going to be using Conquest Points. There is a weekly max of 1,700. I got 92 so far, so that's a decent start. Alright, it looks like most of the items are between uh, 1750, 3500, 1250, so between 1250 and 3500. Alright, let's go ahead and go over everything. Alright, so here we go. We have the Primal Gladiator's Longbow. This thing looks pretty epic. As you can see, there is a slime of some sort dripping from it, which is pretty cool. And it moves as well. So I'm a big fan of that. Right, here's the rifle. That is also pretty cool. I like the bow a little bit more, but that is still pretty epic for the rifle. Those are both 3,500 marks, 195 critical strike, and a mastery. The same as that, they are 524 DPS. Alright, let me go ahead and go over the different armor and show you guys what it looks like. Alright. This is what we have. Let me go ahead and equip all this. Not a bad looking set. I'm not a huge fan of those shoulders. I'm going to wear them, but overall, it's a pretty cool set. Alright, time to scroll over these to show you guys a little bit of each one. Okay, this here. Would you like to do some arenas tonight this time? Give me a few minutes. Don't know that person, but it looks like they're uh, looking forward to doing some arenas. Okay, here we go. Primal Gladiator's Chain Armor. 195 Critical Strike, 195 Haste. Chain Gauntlets. Critical Strike, Mastery. We have the Chain Helm. 292 Agility, 438 Stam, and then Mastery, Multi-Strike. The legs have Haste and Mastery. Haste and Multi-Strike for the shoulders. Chest has Critical Strike Mastery. The Chest Guard has Versatility and Multi-Strike. That's a nice one. Next we have the Feet, Critical Strike and Haste. On these feet we have 156 Haste and Multi-Strike. On these hands we have 146 Multi-Strike and 146 Mastery. On the head, we have Haste or and Multi-Strike. On the legs, these are Critical Strike and Multi-Strike. On these shoulders, we have Critical Strike and Haste. All right, these require Vulgin Spear Revered. I'll just go and go over these real quick. 135 Versatility, 156 Mastery. And then we have these hands, Haste, Versatility. This head has Critical Strike and Versatility. Legs, versatility, and mastery. These shoulders are versatility, versatility, and mastery. Then I'm just going to go over these real quick. I'm not going to call everything out, but I'll leave it up for a couple seconds. That way you can check it out. And take note that the ones that... Oh, this guy, come on now. He's going to run up there and check the doorway. Then he's going to run back down here. Come on, General. All right, his General Aved, he's here in the northern part of Ashran. So if you're looking for the Conquest guy, there you go. All right, here we go. Let's go back to where we were. Uh, I've been expecting you. He's been expecting me, okay. As I was saying before, these ones in red here require the Vulgen Spear revered. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, Necklace, Critical Strike Haste. Haste and Mastery for this neck. Ring is Critical Strike Mastery. This ring is Haste and Mastery. Alright. Critical Strike Multi-Strike. You take 10% less damage from players. So it looks like all the bonuses are going to be the same for both the armor and the badge and insignias.
These get boosted up to level 690. Alright, last but not least, we have these last four trinkets here, and then these two capes. This cape has Critical Strike and Mastery, and this one has Haste and Mastery. Alright, one more time to look at the weapons, because I know a lot of you are interested in those. Let's go and check these out one last time. This is the bow, and I think that's pretty epic. I'm a huge fan of that. That is that is super awesome. And then we have the gun here, which is also pretty epic as well. Alright, I did show this set here. It's pr pretty cool. But then there's also another set as well, so let me go ahead and flip through here. I think I like this one a little bit more. I don't know, those glowing embers on the shoulders are pretty cool. Plus you have that neat looking cow for a mask. Not the Moo Moo cow, but the C O W L type of mask is pretty cool. Then again, I would like to have a cow as a mask. I don't know, I'd probably use that as well. Alright, let's go ahead and see what the bow looks like for this. I think the bow looks better actually with the other armor set. And that goes pretty well together. So there they are, the two different sets. Not too shabby. Well, once again, I want to thank you all for watching, and happy gaming.